Yes, yes, hello, yes. Um, I left a message. Um, I, was yeah, given, yeah, yeah. I, I was given a copy of your book, Enjoy Life Forever, which I've been reading. I've been, I've been looking at bits and pieces of the book. Um, I haven't read it all the way through, but I've been picking out the, the chapters I find the most interesting. Um, one of them is The Faithful and Discreet Slave, Lesson 54. Um, it kind of puzzled me because, I mean, as it happens, only yesterday I was speaking on Facebook to... Um, I was texting back and forth with a guy from Sin John Ji, which is a Korean group which claims that their leader, Mr. Lee, is the faithful and discreet slave. So, you know, I'm kind of curious if Mr. Lee claims to be the faithful and discreet slave and you must go to Sin John Ji for salvation. Um... How would you know? How would Jehovah's Witnesses respond to that? I'm just kind of curious, sir. <laughs> I, I, uh, I've never heard of. I've never really heard of this chat. Um, Jehovah's Witnesses base their beliefs. Um, they try to model themselves on the very first first century Christian congregation. So does every other Sorry. group. Every other group will tell you that too. The Seventh-day Adventists say everyone's an apostasy apart from them. Everyone else is, has got the mark of the beast because they go to church on a Sunday, not on a Saturday. Christadelphians, St. Sin John G, Iglesia ni Christu, they all claim that they're the one true church that Jesus set up. And if you don't go to them, you can't have salvation. So I'm just kind of puzzled at that, you see, sir. Well, um... I guess you believe what you believe, but... No, 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 I'm not telling you what I believe. I haven't, I haven't, I'm, I'm just telling you what other groups say. Um, okay. As I say, I was speaking yesterday from somebody from Sin, Sin John G. It means new heavens and new earth. Just because you haven't heard of it um, doesn't mean that it's, it's of no significance. I'm quite sure in a few years' time they'll be far, far larger than Jehovah's Witnesses. They're growing absolutely in leaps and bounds in terms of yeah. numbers, whereas Jehovah's Witnesses are declining. Um, so, are they? That's interesting. Well, I've looked at the pictures of the convention, the Brighton convention, for instance. I mean, there were so many empty seats. There were, it was hardly anyone attending. Mm. Um, mm. And I've done a lot of research on this. I've been reading on JW.org quite a few congregations have been merged and the buildings, the kingdom halls have been sold? Well, that's because of the, the uh, money, you know, situation. It's hard to, to keep these places going now. Is that because the money is need for the court, the, for the court cases? To pay for oh, teams word. of lawyers? <laughs> 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 yeah. Look, I have to say, all, all I have to say to you is that Jehovah's Witnesses base their beliefs solely on the Bible, which we believe is God's word, and that is the truth. So that's that's what we believe. If you've got an issue with it, that's absolutely fine. But we like to talk to people who are genuinely interested in studying the Bible, and not. I'm not here to debate. I'm not here to win an argument. That's the end of the story, really. So, thanks for calling in, mate, but I, I'm not going to sit here and debate stuff with you. I'm, I'm not here to debate. I'm, I'm here to learn. Um, okay. I pointed out that, you know, there is another group that claims that their leader is the faithful and discreet slave in Matthew twenty four forty five. They're called okay. Sin John G. And I, I happened to speak to some of these people yesterday. They're, they're very convinced that they're the only religion on earth that preaches the truth. Every other group, yeah. they would claim, including Jehovah's Witnesses, are in complete apostasy. You have to go to okay. Sin John G for salvation because Mr. Lee, they claim, is the faithful and discreet slave. What I have to say to you, um, my friend, is that the proof will be in the pudding, won't it? Well, anyone could if say I, that, couldn't they? Any group could say that. I know, I know. I'm not saying what I think. What I'm saying is what the Bible says, and I can tell you what the Bible says is going to happen in the immediate future. There will be a proclamation of peace and security, which will be false. Then 
the United States an all-force religion and I destroy You said it. United what? The United Nations. United Nations, okay. Yeah, will turn on all-force religion and bring it down. That's what's going to happen next. But... So you wait, you wait for that, just wait for that trial of peace and security and then find me back. Are, okay? are, are you saying that the United Nations is, is wrong? I mean, I do believe they do a lot of bad stuff in the world. I certainly don't agree with everything the UN do. But are you no, saying I the UN is no. satanic or, or, or evil? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that the United Nations will make... A, uh, well, it will come from... The United Nations will turn on, on false religion. All false religion. I'm, 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 I'm that, asking. It will be a declaration of peace and security. I'm, I'm asking you, what is the official position of Jehovah's Witnesses on the United Nations? Um, I have looked this up on JW.org. I've, n I've never been a Jehovah's Witness, by the way. I used to be a Pentecostal, and I, I, I no longer attend. Yeah. Um, but um, one of the watchtowers I looked at. Um, now, let me just see. It's the Watchtower for the 15th of November, 1982, page 5 and 6. It says that the UN is one of the satanic wild beasts with seven heads and ten horns of the Book of Revelation. And that this desolator, that's the UN, this article says, is part of the present system of things controlled by Satan the devil. So I think the official position of Jehovah's Witnesses is that the UN is this satanic wild beast and that it's controlled by Satan the devil. I mean, I'm, I'm just quoting your literature. Watchtower, 15th of November, 1982, page 5 and 6. Is, is that right or have I jumped to the wrong conclusions? I'm, listen, I'm not going to answer into it. It's in English. It's an English conversation. It's, it's a what conversation? It's an endless conversation. Well, I'm just quoting your watchtower. Well, you, you can quote, you can quote what you like, but I'm not here to debate. No, I'm, 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 I'm not here know. to debate either. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. The, you, you say that the this watchtower says the UN is controlled by Satan, the devil. But what I don't understand is that in 1992, your then governing body member Lloyd Barry signed the Watchtower okay. Bible and Tract Society of New York into membership of the UN as an what NGO. Can, can, can I, just, just forget this for a moment, mate. What is your motivation here? I want to obey Jehovah God and do the will of Jehovah God. Really? I want really? to obey Jehovah. I want to do the will of Jehovah God. Yes, yes, I do, sir. Yes. So, so, hang on. Do, do you do you believe do you believe in Jesus? Well, yes, everyone believes in Jesus. Unitarians okay. believe. Okay. Can, I, can, can I please finish my sentence? No, 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 Unitarians no, no. believe in Jesus. Mormons no, believe so in believe, Jesus. No, 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 no. Muslims believe, so in, believe Jesus. in Jesus. Jesus said in John seventeen seventeen, "Your uh, so." Jesus is saying that the Je Bible, God's word, is truth. Right. And the Bible itself says that God, Jehovah, cannot lie. Right. That word is truth. So that's what we, we base our beliefs on. Truth. I, I read about that in Lesson 19. Um, I've got it here. Lesson 19 on Enjoy Life Forever... Paragraph one mentions truth. Do you mind if I just read it, please? It's paragraph one. Yeah. Um, Jesus, this is page 79 of Enjoy Life Forever, lesson 19, paragraph one. Jesus said God's word is truth. Like Jesus, Jehovah's Witnesses have always based their beliefs, beliefs on God's word. Consider our modern day history. 
In the late 19th century, a group of Bible students carefully began to examine the Bible. They based their beliefs on what it said, even when those beliefs differed from church doctrine. Then they began sharing those Bible truths with others, and there's a footnote at the end, which is at the bottom of page 79 in my paper copy, um, which I managed to, to get, um, but it's at the end of the chapter on the online version. The footnote says, Our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879. Now, I have to ask, is that statement true? Yeah. But in, in, in Russell's day, they taught that Jesus Christ became Almighty God at his resurrection. He believed in some similar doctrine to adoptionism, where instead of being adopted into the Godhead at his baptism, Russell taught that he was adopted into the Godhead at his resurrection. That's in the Watchtower, 1893, page 115. I've got a copy of that. Berean Bible Teacher's Manual, page 454, says that. It's a commentary on the book of Revelation. Um, and that's a, a reference to Revelation 1.8. And they say, yes, Jesus Christ became Almighty God at his resurrection. I've got that too. And then another book, The Finnish Mystery, um, it states it on page 15 and page 240 that Jesus Christ is Almighty God. But the context is, he was born a man, he was an archangel, then he became a man, but at his resurrection, when he resurrected as a spirit creature, he became Almighty God at his resurrection. Now, I find the claim that Jesus became Almighty God blasphemous. I believe Christ has eternally been Almighty God. He's not the Father, but he shares the Father's nature. To say that Christ um, was adopted into the Godhead, that he became God, he became Almighty God at a point in time, is to me blasphemy. We now, can't believe that. Pardon? We can't believe that. Who resurrected Jesus in three days? Who resurrected him? Jehovah. Well, at John chapter 2. Oh, here we go. At John chapter 2. Uh, uh, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I've had enough. Truth, why? Why have you had enough? Why have you had enough? I've had enough. Because the, the truth about God's kingdom is a very, very simple message. And God made it very simple because he wanted as many people... Right, right. To have okay, 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 okay. you're complicating... You're taking it no, to, no, 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 I'm not complicating it. Because I'm not describing beliefs that I hold to. I, I, uh, for instance, in Studies in the Scripture, Volume 4, page 604 which I've got a copy of, Russell wrote that Jesus Christ became king in 1878. Now, that was changed to 1914 and about 1930. But for, but for 40, 40 to 50 years of the Watchtower's early history, they taught that the second presence of Christ was from 1874. That's in Prophecy, page 65. And Studies in the Scripture, volume 4, page 604, says that Christ became king in 1878. Now, that's a lie, isn't it? <coughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go. You're going to do a runner? Because... You're going to do a runner, mate? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to do... You're a runner. You admit it. Yeah. Yeah. Believe what you want to believe, but I'm, I'm not... I'm not describing to... my belief to you. I'm quoting... I've never been a Jehovah's Witness. I used to attend well, a Pentecostal church. Oh, I've never been a Jehovah's Witness. I used to attend a Pentecostal church, but I have studied your beliefs. And what I've quoted to you is not my beliefs, not what I believe. This is what the Watchtower taught. Now, these did, statements did that, that I've told you are lies. Church, Pardon? Did that, did that Pentecostal church give you any kind of... I don't go anymore. Encouragement for I don't go anymore. I want nothing oh, to do okay. with it. I've told you, I think, four times... I, I, I gave up more than 10 years ago. I think I gave up in 2010, roughly. Um, your, your, well, the wait, reference... Can I, can I just ask you, what is your, motiva again, what is your motivation for getting in contact? Con because you, you've got all these quotations from different volumes going back to the 1990s. What is your actual motivation? 
for getting in touch with us. Um, well, actually, I've been phoning Kingdom Halls around the country. Of course you have. This... Oh, I'll bet you have. Yeah, yeah. This conversation will be 2,820-something. Um, I record the conversations and I stick them really? up on YouTube so that everyone can see that Jehovah's Witness elders are biblically illiterate. Okay. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not here to, to offend you. I'm not here to win an argument. But I am because you can't. Up. Because you can't win an argument. You couldn't fight your way out of a paper bag. That's fine. I'm willing to, I'm, I'm willing to accept that. Okay, well, I'm willing to accept it too. That's why you're a Jehovah's yeah. Witness elder. Am I? Yeah. Well, are you, are you an elder? You are the representative for your congregation. Have you? How do you know? Crowborough congregation. Well, maybe you're a ministerial servant, or maybe you used to be an elder, but you're a representative of Crowborough congregation. Yes. I, I, I don't have to answer that. Okay. Yes. Um. At the bottom of page 79, it says, Our principal journal, The Watchtower, has published Bible truth consistently since 1879. That statement was published two years ago when this book, Enjoy Life Forever, was published. Now, that statement that The Watchtower has published Bible truth consistently since 1879 is a lie. Okay. It's, it's not true at all. It's a lie. And this book is filled with lies like that. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Bye-bye. I've got to go. I can't do it anymore. Why? Why and can't you, can't you it, do it anymore? Because this is just Tim going Bagra. absolutely nowhere. You're not, you're not a genuine person. You're out for an argument. Anyone who spends their life phoning kingdom halls all over the country, all those references, I think, mean, yes. is not a genuine person. Well... It is, a very un, it is a very unusual hobby, I will grant you that. I am a rather strange yeah. person. I mean, train spotters would see me as rather odd. But you see, there is a purpose to what I'm doing. I have contacted over 90% of all the Kingdom Halls in the UK. I've recorded the conversations with the Jehovah's Witnesses I'm speaking to and stuck them on YouTube and yeah. BitChute. And it demonstrates the absolute biblical illiteracy of those, of those 2,800 and 20 plus Jehovah's Witness Jehovah's Witnesses they can't answer Bible questions they can't answer questions about their own faith and many of them do a runner they just run away because well, you know they're, they're rather, it, fra it's rather not frightened actually, people it, it's not actually true we can answer but you're not interested in the answer alright all right. I, I'll, I'll ask you a question you said that oh, the Watchtower oh, teaches truth I am I am I am oh, going to go on. on. Spoil me, spoil oh, me. Wrong. Let me ask you to prove the overlapping oh. generation to me. Come on, open your no. Bible and prove to me that there is an overlapping generation that saw 1914. Where's that in the Bible? Come on, show that to me. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Goodbye. come on, we're enjoying ourselves. We're having fun. <laughs>